okay so uh, last time last time I took export as a dependent variable dependent variable but this time I shall take uh, GDP as a dependent variable right okay uh, and uh, so I go to statistics as before I go to statistics and I go to multivariate time series and vector error correction model as before and here the maximum lag is 5 and here I put GDP as a dependent variable intentionally then export as a independent variable right so my model is set and I proceed I press OK the result is coming up of the vector error correction model okay okay here uh, okay you see so this one is actually our target model or the we can call the whole model as error correction model and here uh, as I told there are two issues one is long run causality right and one is short run causality right there are two issue okay so uh, here I talk about first long run causality and and th th what is this one this is quantity integrated equation one and what about this one this one is actually uh, the the error, 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 error correction term or the speed of adjustment towards long run equilibrium okay okay and here the coefficient of the error correction term is negative but the problem is that the probability value is very high 79.3 percent meaning that this error correction term is not significant but uh, th this one has negative sign but it is not significant meaning that there is no long run causality running from export to GDP okay that is long run causality now we talk about short run causality and we know all these things are short run coefficient right these are all short run coefficient and what about suppose I talk about this one this variable GDP lag 1 the probability value is 7.4 percent which is more than 5 percent meaning that GDP lag 1 this variable is not significant to explain our dependent variable which is GDP 
so here I can see I think this is not significant to explain the dependent variable I think none is significant right what about this one this one this one this one so no sh short run variable is significant to explain our dependent variable which is GDP okay now we talk about short run causality as a whole right okay so here that means whether export has a short run causality to GDP or not that we want to check okay so what is to be done I go to statistics to check it then I go to post estimation then test and the, then test linear hypothesis as before okay then I reset uh, it and create again specification okay then I put coefficient in specific equation are zero that I select so this time GDP is our dependent variable and we take all the short run coefficient of export so lag one of export lag two of export lag three of export and lag four of export so they are e equal to zero right that is the null hypothesis they are zero or not that is a null hypothesis if they are zero meaning that lag one of export lag two of export lag three of export lag four of export cannot cause our dependent variable which is GDP in the short run okay so I click ok then ok okay so here you can see they are zero right that is the null hypothesis and it is the statistics and corresponding probability the probability value is 13.98 percent which is more than 5 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that all these variable are zero meaning that all these variable are zero ld l2d l3d l4d are zero meaning that there is no short run causality running from export to GDP right because these are all short run coefficient okay so here what is our decision the decision is there is no long run causality or no short run causality running from export to GDP that is the decision of this model okay then I talk about the the diagnostic checking that whether there is serial correlation or not 
whether residuals are normally distributed or not okay so first i check of first i check the autocorrelation so i go to statistics i go to multivariate time series then I go to vector error correction diagnostic then LM test for residual autocorrelation suppose I take lag 2 right I take lag 2 so here is the lang range multiplier test right we can see okay so and this is the null hypothesis no autocorrelation okay so at lag one we cannot reject null hypothesis uh, sorry at lag one we can reject null hypothesis because probability value is 4.119 percent which is less than five percent so we can reject this null hypothesis meaning that there is autocorrelation that is not desirable but at lag 2 yes the probability value is 83.63 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that uh, meaning that we accept null hypothesis meaning that there is no autocorrelation but the problem is that lag one there is autocorrelation and this autocorrelation or serial correlation is not desirable so Web, so we cannot accept this model so we were so we have to re redesign the model so that there should not be any autocorrelation okay uh, then I talk about whether there is uh, whether the residuals are normally distributed or not I go to statistics then I go to as before multivariate time series then we see diagnostic test then I test for normally distributed okay here I choose the Jarkabera statistics right I okay so this is the Jarkabera test and this one is our targeted model and probability value is 89.65 percent that means more than 5 percent we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis A and what is our null hypothesis the residuals are normally distributed so here we are here the residuals are normally distributed and that is desirable but the problem is that when I take as a whole all all means as a whole of these two two model when I take as a whole you see the probability becomes 1.4 percent which is less than 5 percent meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis meaning that as a whole the, the residuals are not normally distributed right and that is not desirable 
but here what is happening so this one actually is our target model right so and and here the residual of our target model is normally distributed so we can say we can accept the result so far because our the residual of our targeted model is normally distributed so we can accept result although as a whole residuals are not normally distributed so uh, okay so so the so okay so thank you very much for being with me for a while